Hello, this is the RPG Pundit, the final boss in Internet Shitlords. And uh, I'm doing this video for you today because as a kind of public service announcement, because I'm quite worried about Matt Mercer. Matt Mercer, as you might know from my previous videos, is a only fairly successful voice actor and, and highly successful YouTube reality, D&D themed reality show uh, producer and, and star. Um, and the reason I'm worried about him is because, I mean, he is the nicest person in the entire, you know, D&D community. And we know this because he's told us about, you know, so many times how he is the nicest person. He's such a nice guy, and it's obvious because he shows it over and over again in these, all these different ways that are meant to make us know that he's a really nice guy. And, you know, in the D&D community that he and others like him have told us exists, that D&D isn't just a hobby, that it's a community uh, where we all have to listen to what people like Mercer say, and who, who we should let in and out of the community, according to him and his friends, because they're all such wonderful, nice guys, right? And, you know, it's, it's very clear that they're, you know, that, that Mercer in particular is the nicest of the nice guys, and especially nice to women, because we know from, from previous record of Matt Mercer's actions that he is a, a powerful male feminist ally, an absolute defender of women, and specifically um, of, you know, the principle of believe all women. This principle is, it says, you know, because we all know, because people like Mercer tell us, women are, are, are women don't lie. You know, women are practically incapable of lying. And certainly they're incapable of lying about, you know, sexual assault or sexual harassment. So, uh, because they can't, they pretty much just can't even lie about that, right? But even if they could, they wouldn't because they're so much better than men. And we know this because really nice guys like Matt Mercer tell us this all the time, right? It tells you have to believe because there's, there's no possibility. If a woman makes an allegation about a man having done something to them, some kind of sexual assault, sexual harassment, or what have you, then that is just truth. We know it's truth. It becomes the truth, regardless, right? But it is, it is the absolute truth because women will never lie about sexual assault or sexual harassment as a way to get revenge or to make, um, you know, get a political advantage or for ideological reasons or, you know, for other things, for money, for the custody of kids or what have you. They don't do that. That's impossible. And we know this because the nicest guy on earth, Matt Mercer of Critical Role, has told us this before. You will remember that during the Kavanaugh hearings, Matt Mercer had you know, gone out of his way to tell us. He told us, you have to believe the person, you know, Christine Blasey Ford, who's making the accusations against Judge Kavanaugh, he is clearly a rapist because she said so. Even though there's, you know, other people saying this isn't true, even though, you know, none of her, you know, claims seem to add up, it doesn't matter because she's telling the truth. You must believe all women. Right. So clearly Kavanaugh is guilty, should not become a Supreme Court judge and should probably be put in jail or something like that. You know, he literally told us all in his tweets. And, and, and I, I made a video about this previously, that if, if you don't believe Kavanaugh's accuser, it, therefore you don't believe all women, then uh, very clearly you are a mentally ill person and should be, you know, put somehow into psychiatric care, you should be institutionalized because, see, this is really just proof of how nice a person Matt Mercer is. He even cares so much about his political opponents that unlike, say, you know, some of the really hardcore Stalinists that would advocate for a gulag or a death camp or the killing fields that would say anyone who disagrees with me should just be put to death. No, no. Matt Mercer is such a fantastically nice guy that he only believes that anyone who disagrees with him at all is mentally ill and should be hospitalized. He's not a Stalinist type of commie. He's a Brezhnevist type of commie. You know, the, the kinder, gentler communism that instead of just putting a bullet in the back of your head will, you know, lock you up in an institution and try to devalue all of your arguments and all of your, 
um, your critiques of the communist state by claiming you're mentally ill as a way to not have to answer the uncomfortable questions that you might ask in opposition to you know the totalitarianism of the communists in question. So that's that's Matt Mercer's perspective. It's a kinder, gentler way of getting rid of people who will dare to challenge him. He's such a great, wonderful, nice guy, isn't he? So okay, um, Matt Mercer had had made it clear he's one. He's got all the credentials of being a top-notch feminist, a defender of women who says, believe all women in all circumstances. We have to believe all women. So what's got me really worried, I, I don't know. I mean, I've seen some posts of his lately. So he's, he is around. He, he, the, you know, the virus hasn't gotten him. He's still out there. So I'm just wondering when it is that Matt Mercer is going to say to all of the critical role fans that they need to believe Joe Biden's accuser. Because she's a woman, right? Tara Reid is a woman. And we have to believe all women, because Matt Mercer told us that. He told us that we must believe all women, okay? So, so when's that going to happen, Matt? I mean, come on, right? You said that we had, that, that, that anyone, any critical role fan, any D&D fan that dared to question Blasey Ford, the accuser of Judge Kavanaugh, was mentally ill. It's mental illness to question this, because women must always be believed. So, so, so we know that it's that, that same thing applies to Joe Biden, right? Anyone who questions that Joe Biden is a rapist at this point is mentally ill. Isn't that right? Because, I mean, I, this, is, this is, as I understood it, I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe he was arguing that, you know, you have to believe all women. And in the case of Christine Blasey Ford's, the facts were what mattered. But there's so few facts there. Right? Like, there is already much more of a case. There's, like, a bunch of corroborating evidence in the case of Tara Reid. Besides the, the, all the videos of Biden, you know, fondling young girls at White House photo events in front of everyone, right? There's, there's also, you know, Tara Reid. There's another accuser now. There are people who knew Tara Reid. There's this, this phone call her mother made to Larry King Live, like, 20 years ago. If this is a conspiracy against Joe Biden... It is a long-running, deep-game type of conspiracy, isn't it? So, I mean, obviously the evidence is much better. So if it, it can't be because the evidence isn't there. And anyways, you'd always said believe all women, right, Matt? Didn't you say that, Matt Mercer, because you're such a nice guy? So clearly you're going to believe Tara Reid, right? So I'm waiting for you to tell us that anyone who would vote for Joe Biden is mentally ill. I, you, you need to say that now, right? Because otherwise we're going to start to worry. I mean, you know, it couldn't be that you're becoming mentally ill by refusing to believe Tara Reid, right? I, I mean, you're, you're the nicest guy on earth. It would be horrible if this happened. If you had to institutionalize yourself in one of these Soviet hospitals, right? Because you no longer believe all women. And, and it definitely couldn't just be that when you said believe all women, what you really meant was believe all leftist narratives, right? And that you really don't give a two-penny crap about women, and that, and that because Judge Kavanaugh was a conservative, any old accusation would do. But with Joe Biden, you could show, you know, pictures of him fondling a girl, and that's not enough, right? Like, no, no, because Joe Biden is on the left, right? That, that can't possibly be it, right? Because then, you, you know, I hate to say it, Matt Mercer, but you wouldn't seem like a very nice guy. You'd seem like just another ideological, partisan, fanatical fuck who is... Who is using a complete hypocritical double standard as a way to manipulate, to use, to use the very concept of sexual assault, right, and, and the very real problem of women being harassed as a political weapon to, that, that is used only against your opponents, but against your allies, they get special protections no matter what, no matter how senile or lunatic or, or grab assy or whatever they are, no matter how many, no matter how many pubescent girls' hair they smell, they're okay because they're on the left. So, you know, really, what you're really saying at that point is fuck women, right? Like, they, they don't matter. Women don't matter to you. The only thing that matters to you is your political side and looking like a nice guy while you do it. But in fact, you're just a, a partisan ideologue with Trump derangement syndrome, aren't you? I mean... That's, that's what you're leading us to believe. I don't want to believe that personally. I'm not saying that's the truth right now. 
But but we really need to hear you now stand up and say to condemn Joe Biden the way you condemned Judge Kavanaugh to say we must blindly believe Tara Reid as much as you told us to blindly believe Blasey Ford, right? Because because that's the only way now that you're going to prove that you're not a, that you are a nice guy and you're not just a disingenuous smarmy actor who's who's really a sack of crap that is that loves to present this nice guy image as, as his shtick to win over idiots and to convince fools to, to believe in whatever he's selling to them, right? That, that can't possibly be you, Matt. I know you, Matt. You've got to be a nice guy. So go ahead, condemn Joe Biden. I'm waiting. <laughs> and while we're waiting, if you, uh, if you want to help support this channel, please share this video. Please, in particular, send it out to the critters. You know, the people that nice guy Matt Mercer will anyways get to launch attacks against me now because, you know, he did that before. Everybody knows, you know, when Matt Mercer says such and such person is, is not being very sensitive and, and, you know, I'm the nicest guy in the world, so let's, you know, let's be sure to make sure that he learns that he should be in a psychiatric hospital or something. Then they're going to pile on me anyhow, so please... Feel free to send this video to all critters everywhere. Ask them to ask Matt Mercer to, you know, condemn Joe Biden because he's such a nice guy. <laughs> and like the video. And if you haven't, if, you, if you're brand new to my channel, please feel free to subscribe. Share this video everywhere. If you want to support me beyond that, well, I do have a PayPal and a Patreon. But the other way to support me is to pick up my books, right? Stuff like Dark Albion, Lion and Dragon, and the brand new Old School Companion. It's awesome. Um, but if, if, you know, those are, they're all excellent OSR games, very affordable, but if, if they're not um, in your price tag, you can check out the RPG Pundit Presents series too. We've got 99 PDF issues out so far. Number 100 is still coming. It's coming. I, I'm praying it's coming this week. But anyways, 99 issues so far. Each one is a mini product. It costs from $1.99 to $4.99. And it'll provide you with material you can use in your OSR, D&D, or other fantasy game, ranging all the way from medieval authentic stuff, the sort of stuff you can use in Lion and Dragon, or to make whatever D&D game type game you run more medieval authentic, um, all the way over to total wacko gonzo weirdness like the Fantabulous Robot gener Generator, or Mutant Hordes of the Last Sun, uh, or at, at the darkness, or <laughs> you know, the grand floating city of Lull, or lots of other products full of weird science fantasy sort of craziness um, and weird fantasy stuff. So check it out. You're bound to find something you like, and it's like you're you know you're giving me a Patreon type tip, but you're getting something immediately in return that you can pick from yourself. Um, and that's it. But uh, more than anything, share the video. Thank you very much. Uh, see you next week. Oh, currently smoking, Lorenzetti Half Volcano, plus, um, what is this, Blue Boar. <laughs>